ancient Egypt. A mystical land of the pharaohs and pyramids was the setting of many mathematical, medical, and agricultural advances, and in the modern day, it's a historical place of enormous intrigue and fascination. Ancient Egypt came to an end in 332 BC, which is around 5,000 years ago. However, the Egyptians left behind a multitude of artefacts to give us an insight into what life was like in the hot, sandy dynasty that existed so long ago. So today, here at Unexplained Mysteries, we'll be taking a look at three Egyptian mysteries. The massive underground world below Egypt's oldest pyramid. One of the many questions that the study of ancient Egypt has thrown up is how did the Egyptians manage to build such impressive structures? Given that there was no modern engineering, mathematics, scientific research, or equipment to build the pyramids, they had to use inventive and groundbreaking methods to build these grand and elaborate structures. However, today we're not looking at what the Egyptians built, rather what they dug out of the ground. Now there's a lot more to pyramids than what we see on the surface. Much like an iceberg, for example, pyramids are in fact only the visible part of a massive complex. Contrary to popular belief, the oldest pyramid is actually not the Great Pyramid of Giza, but rather the Pyramid of Djoser. The Pharaoh Djoser of the Third Dynasty is said to have turned to his architect early on in his reign to ask to build a pyramid. The pyramid was first to use the step design, where the sides of the pyramids are like a staircase rather than flat, and it was apparently completed in only 19 years. Although we don't understand why the architect did what we're about to describe, it was pretty impressive nonetheless. Underneath Joseph's pyramid, there was constructed a huge subterranean world. It's said that this may have been created as a home for Joseph's Ka, which is described as the principal aspect of the soul of a human being or a god. Perhaps then, they could have been building an afterlife temple for the pharaoh. Although this particular pyramid throws up many questions, as no other pyramids in Egypt featured such a complex underworld. This begs the question, why did Djoser want such a grand system built? Did he even request such a system underground? These questions are still unanswered by historians, but they do bring up some interesting theories. Strangely, the storage facilities beneath the pyramid contain stones that predate the pharaoh's reign by a few generations, which could indicate that the world underneath his pyramid existed long before the pyramid itself. So who really built that strange complex? This is something that we're yet to discover. The Lost Name of the Sphinx Egyptian literature is fascinating. It gives us an indication as to how those before us were thinking and feeling, and what they believed in all those years ago. Combined with their architecture, ancient Egypt has left behind some incredible and truly amazing clues as to what life was like in the land of the pharaohs 5,000 years ago. One of the most incredible pieces of ancient Egyptian architecture is the Great Sphinx, a massive limestone statue of a mythical creature combining the body of a lion and the head of a human. The face of the Sphinx is said to be the face of the pharaoh of the 4th dynasty, named Khafre. Constructed around 2500 BC, the Sphinx is full of mysteries. The main one perhaps being that nobody knows the Sphinx's real name. The enormous statue that we know of as the Great Sphinx may not be called that after all. The name isn't mentioned anywhere in any kind of inscription from the Old Kingdom around the time the majority of the pyramids were built. In fact, in the period between the 18th and 20th dynasties, the 16th to 11th century BC, the Sphinx is loosely referred to as the Solar Deity, or the Horus of the Horizon. Thutmose VI referred to the Great Sphinx in his dream steel. This was an epigraph etched in front of the Sphinx, which indicated the divine right to rule as pharaoh. Some medieval Arab writers referred to the Sphinx as something different, but the modern Egyptian Arabic name is a little creepier. In modern Egyptian Arabic, the Great Sphinx is titled The Father of Dread. Where is Cleopatra? Cleopatra is one of, if not the most famous Egyptian ruler, yet she wasn't even Egyptian. 
Cleopatra was Greek, but born in Alexandria, Egypt. She was one of a long line of Greek rulers of ancient Egypt, and was the last active ruler of one of the kingdoms of Egypt. Lover of Mark Antony and Julius Caesar, she's been immortalised in modern culture for her flamboyant lifestyle and amazing hair, but to this day, we've no idea where she's buried. It's not just the location of her tomb that we can't be sure of. Many archaeologists and historians don't really know what she looked like, or can't find a particularly accurate description for that matter. Despite the various portrayals of Queen Cleo, these have actually come from silhouetted coins, which don't show her with any clarity at all. Despite her riches, Cleopatra killed herself in 30 BC after being captured by Roman Emperor Octavius. She was buried in a mausoleum with Mark Anthony, and this mausoleum is thought to be somewhere near Alexandria in Egypt. Alexandria is a major port city, so a lot of ancient civilization lies underwater. Some scholars think Cleopatra's tomb could be at the bottom of the sea, whereas thousands of years ago, that sea would have been dry land. Underwater excavations of this site began in 1992 by French explorers. This was led by Frank Gordio. Researchers mapped out the submerged portion of ancient Alexandria, which was once occupied by grand palaces and perhaps Queen Cleo's tomb. However, about 15 years later, a woman from the Dominican Republic came forward with a theory she had developed as to where Cleopatra may really be. She believed Cleo could be buried in or underneath a dilapidated temple. This would be near the town of Tapasiris Magna. In the present day, this town, lying 28 miles west of Alexandria, is called Abu Sir. It was once a bustling port in ancient Egypt, with vineyards that were famous for their rich wines. Whilst there's a possibility that Cleopatra may have been buried here, some believe that she may have actually requested a secret burial and could realistically be anywhere. The ancient Egyptians were spiritual people, and Cleopatra may have wished to be laid to rest when no one would disturb her eternal life together with Mark Anthony. After all, researchers believe that Cleopatra could have been buried either in, under, or simply near Alexandria, so this location could fit that description. For the past 15 years and more, archaeologists have been excavating this site, yet academics and researchers still believe that it's unlikely they'll find anything of note. Despite an imminent announcement of a tomb discovery in 2019, nothing was forthcoming, and if it was, the public and the press are yet to be informed. Earlier this month, Zahi Hawass, the former Egyptian minister of the State for Antiquities, told the press there's no evidence at all that Cleopatra's tomb could be in this town. Other scholars believe that Cleopatra's tomb is harder to find because it may have been robbed hundreds of years ago. After all, rulers of ancient Egypt were buried elaborately, with selections of expensive materials that would aid them in the afterlife. Therefore, Cleopatra's tomb would have probably been a handy place for any thief to make a bit of money. Now whether Cleo lies under the port of Alexandria in a vast aquatic mausoleum, or in the run-down tombs of some outwards town, or perhaps somewhere else, we may never know. However, if somebody were to find her, it would unearth a whole host of incredible discoveries that could alter our understanding of one of history's most fascinating stories. The land of the pharaohs was undoubtedly full of wonder, and despite the civilization's innovative capabilities, it was still remarkably mysterious when it came to certain rituals and beliefs. Learning about how these ancient rulers went about their lives and why they did what they did also offers an unrivaled insight into why the world developed the way that it did. Today, more than ever, we need to ensure that we properly understand the history of the world around us, as only then will we, as humans, be able to move forward as productively as one. So what do you make of these Egyptian mysteries? Be sure to let us know your thoughts in the comment section below, and help us by growing this community whilst working to solve these unexplained mysteries. Thank you for watching, and don't forget to subscribe for more videos.